We are super duper late, so I didn't think we were gonna find nothing today. But it looks like we found some little deers. They're not in great condition. Looks like their heads have been taped back together. But we'll take them anyhow. Whoa. Sorry about your antlers, buddy. I don't know, those look fun. Look how adorable they are. What a fun little guy. Or girl. No, I guess they're guys, right? The girls don't have horns on top of their heads. Is there any metal here for us? No, there's just some elbows. All right, so uh, at least we found something. Welcome to trash picking. Okay, I guess maybe I was wrong because a couple streets over. How are you today? Look at what we got. Oh, she's a crow. Ugh. Ugh. Wow. This handle was slippery. That's what that is, that's a handle. That's for me to, to grab the thing. Ugh. Now we gotta break it. Oh. Look at else we got. We got some BX. Jeez. Sorry about your garbage bag, lady. And a big piece of cast iron pipe elbow. And some more BX. And some copper that's attached to some uh, whatever that is. Let's see if we can cut through the whatever that is. Um, I know we can. Just step on the copper. Jeez. I heard that stuff will last 25 years and I believe it. It's pretty burly. All right, here's a steel pipe. That's a heavy one too. Here's a long section of radiator fin with a little bonus copper at the end. Lady, why'd you bury the radiator fin? Another nice piece of radiator fin. We had to work for that one though. I see some more BX.
That wasn't too hard. Some more BX. Jeez. I feel like there's probably more stuff hidden in this pile that we're not seeing. Uh, and then this. How am I gonna hold this so that I can cut it while holding the camera steady with the other hand? Well, you guys are just gonna have to wait and see how I do it. These Reeboks cost $67. So I guess I just got my $33.50 worth out of that one. Like, if this was all the metal we got today, I'd be fine with that. So, we are money ahead. I gotta kinda point the camera at the ground because these people have their name on everything, but this is their next door neighbor. So, we drove 20 feet and found these grates. I think these boxes are their old phone. And uh, whatever that is, toner cartridge. And, uh, Wow, this lid, even though it's steel, it's probably worth taking as number one steel because it's heavy. But uh, we'll toss it and leave it for the next guy. I wasn't gonna roll tape here, but it looks like it's probably gonna be worth it to have you guys along. I just don't wanna make a mess. A year or two ago, this really nasty lady and I got into like a road rage incident right in front of this guy's house right here. And he came out and I thought it was gonna be ugly because he thought I was the bad guy. But uh, I stood my ground. that lady was super super nasty and uh, once she raced off here's what she said to me she said you're a dick why don't you go back to Brooklyn so I don't know what that means but once she raced off the guy you know I kind of explained why I didn't capitulate and he immediately took my side so I appreciate that. And I also appreciate all this wire. Cause seriously, we're only just around the corner from that last pile. So like, this is, this is one corner. Like we haven't gone a 10th of a mile and we got all that crap. Anyway, let's put it back nice. Make it look good. Don't make a mess. Put this nice little custom clock back. There. I don't know, does it, does it really help for me to relate stories that happened a long time ago where you don't really get to see the story unfolding on video? I don't know, probably not. Maybe I won't do that anymore. This thing looks like it might be something. What do you think this is? Ooh. Whoa. Sorry about your table, lady. What? Hello? Ugh. I think the guy was saying something, but... Looks like a heat press of some sort. I don't know. I find these from time to time, and, uh... If it don't work, it's pretty heavy. So we'll take that. Then we'll uh, try to put this back. I don't want the guy to get mad, but 
Whoa. What's that? That's a mess. Put that back in there too. All right. That was kind of creepy because there was a baby in the driveway, but you guys didn't see the baby. I think this pile has a sticker that says donation. Um, yeah. All right, so that means I can't take that, I think. Yeah, sometimes people put their garbage out as like a donation for the AMVETS or something. So if it has a sign like that, you don't take it. Well, we're done. How many clips was that, three? But where'd all this stuff come from? This is from my friend who saves scrap metal for me because I do certain favors for him, which, uh, well, I guess I can tell you what I do for him. If I see a treadmill on the side of the road, I text him and tell him where it is. Because he likes treadmills. And in exchange, he saves some metal for me. Look at all this nice copper. So now we're gonna go to, uh, Walmart, do some shopping. This is what I like to do when I come to Walmart or any store, is I take one of my pieces of paper toweling and I fold it up good and I spritz it with Windex. That's actual Windex in there. I found a gallon jug of Windex and I refilled that cheapy bottle with Windex. See? Now I don't have to worry if they have wipes in the store or anything. I can just clean it up real good myself and then uh, dispose of the paper toweling properly. Anyway, I guess I'm just killing time to pad this video out. So uh, let's lock up the car and put you guys in the box. And thanks for watching.